EOE treatment can be really complex. Although we say it's allergen driven, sometimes it's really hard to detect what the actual allergens are that are causing it. We think of allergy in the sense that you can do a blood test and find an antibody that's triggering an allergic response. But in this disorder, you don't always have that correlation. It is not classically triggered by the same antibodies that you think of someone having an allergic reaction that would get difficulty breathing or hives on their body. So treatment really can revolve around a few different areas. Number one could be diet. So even though we don't know specifically all the time what food or foods are causing the disease, we may try different diet eliminations um, of most common allergens that are known to affect children to eliminate them completely from the diet and see if that helps. Uh, on the other hand, there may be people who test positive on allergen testing for hundreds of foods. And in those situations, you may opt to do what's called an elemental diet, meaning you remove all of the food proteins from the diet and you supplement them with a specific type of formula. Once you do some intervention, you may need to then go back and do an endoscopy to look for response in this inflammation. Medication treatment options are also available for EOA. Topical steroids are medications that traditionally were actually used for asthmatics. They were inhaled steroids. We use them a little differently and instead of breathing them in, you actually swallow the medications or you mix them in a little bit of a slurry and you take it down on a spoon um, in order to coat the esophagus, which is the inflamed area, and give it some relief that way. So it decreases the inflammation. They are known to work very well, um, but when we think about this disorder, we also have to take in mind that this is something that's considered chronic. So EOE is a chronic disorder, which means it's lifelong. And we discussed how this may be a fairly new diagnosis. So the things that are still unknown are what are the long-term effects of these type of treatment options. Topical steroids aren't the only medical therapy, but a lot of the time some significant uh, steroids, so for example prednisone, is really reserved for when you have significant disease that may be a hospitalized child or someone who has a distinct complication from the disorder and requires it. Lastly, there's endoscopic interventions. So as a potential complication from EOE, the esophagus can become rigid or narrowed and needs to be opened up. So in certain situations where it may not respond to medical treatment, you may have to have an endoscopic intervention to expand the esophagus back to its normal size. I believe that here with the CADC and New York Presbyterian that we really care for the individual patient. We pay attention to their needs. We look at the most cutting edge research in, in order to give our patients the best possible care. And that's really what we strive for on a day-to-day -day basis.